Let's take a look at number 21 and 22. Find the measure of each missing angle in the triangle below. And then classify it as acute, meaning less than 90 degrees, right, meaning equal to 90 degrees, or obtuse, meaning greater than 90 degrees. This triangle right here is marked in the corner with a square, which means that is a right angle, which means it's 90 degrees. The entire triangle is going to add up to 180 degrees, so to, find, so to find the measure of angle Y, subtract 90 and 35 from 180. And as you can see, it's marked as a right triangle. Let's take a look at this one, 65, 55. Those add up to 120. If you subtract that from 180, you get 60. 60 is less than 90 degrees, which makes this an acute triangle. Let's take a look at number 22. Find the measure of the angles and explain how you found them. Each part is a separate problem. So as you can see, the numbers change. If you look at this, we have two parallel lines marked and a transversal. If the measure of angle 4 is 61 degrees, find the measure of angle 6. Angle 6 is a same side interior, they are same side interior angles, which means angle 4 and angle 6 add up to 180 degrees. Looking at this drawing, angle 4 and angle 8 are congruent because they are corresponding angles. Angle 4 and angle 5 are also congruent because they are alternate interior angles. Same side interior angles will add up to 180 and that will help you find the measure of all of the angles.